Dinner and a Movie is brought to you by Hamilton Walkers. Two strong women take center stage at the movies this weekend. And here to review Pieces of a Woman and Herself is film critic Chuck Kaplinski. Welcome back, Chuck. How are we doing? Good. Good. Happy New Year. Thank you. You too. I will say uh, Pieces of a Woman sounds like a horror movie, but I'm told it is not. You know, maybe we need to take that title and run with it. <laughs> in that direction. <laughs> but this version of Pieces of a Woman, which is starting on Netflix tomorrow, is not a horror film, although it is very, very intense. There you see Vanessa Kirby, and she stars as Martha. You want to see some great screen acting? Watch this film. She's being talked about uh, being nominated for an Oscar. I think she's actually going to win it. Really? Just on the basis of the first 24 minutes. The first 24 minutes of this film is an unbroken take in which we see Martha and her husband, played by Shia LaBeouf, well, she's giving birth, and they've decided to do a home birth, which on the surface might seem like a good idea, but it ends up being a disaster. That first 24 minutes takes us all the way through the process. She does give birth, and the child dies a couple minutes later, which then sends her, of course, into a downward spiral. And the entire film deals with her grief, her mourning, her guilt, and her trying to recover and le live her life after having suffered this unbelievable tragedy. Her marriage suffers, her job suffers, everything suffers as she's trying to find her bearing uh, throughout the rest of her life. The film basically covers the next year and it is a very interesting movie. It meanders at times. Uh, there are times when I wish that it had gotten more to the point of things. Uh, there is a sequence in which they deal with bringing the doula who helped her to trial and that doesn't seem as though it's necessary. This is really about Martha and her struggles. Uh, like I say, it's a bit too long but the performance is incredible and the ending is absolutely perfect. This is rough going, but the ending makes it all worthwhile. Vanessa Kirby, like I say, you're going to be hearing that name a lot once we get to awards season, which is now in March. Yeah, would this movie be a struggle for women who have maybe experienced a miscarriage? It is, probably, but in the end it proves quite cathartic. Uh, because, as I say, I don't want to give anything away, but she does end up making great strides with her life at the end. And it might end up being, you know, a healing process for people who have gone through this. I think it's hard to end a movie that powerful the right way sometimes. It so is. Says to, something. Right. And, and what do you... What message do you want to leave the audience with? And uh, I, I was very, very happy with what they decided on. Okay, up next, Herself. Herself. This is a movie from Ireland, and this starts on Amazon Prime tomorrow. Uh, and there you're going to see a woman, uh, actress by the name of Claire Dunn. She plays a woman named Sandra, and Sandra, she's, she's got some big problems. She is uh, dealing with an abusive husband who she has left, and she is attempting to raise two small daughters on government assistance. The government has her in government housing, which is a hotel in which that they pay for, and she's having a hard time making ends meet. She's working two jobs, she's pulled in all different directions, she doesn't really quite know what to do, but she stumbles upon a do-it-yourself house building plan on the internet and suddenly that becomes her passion she wants to build her own home uh, fortunately she has a friend that has some land that she gives her but she's got a lot of problems where does she get the materials how is she going to do this she's never built a house she can't do it by herself well you know those are all problems that are magically solved in this movie <clears throat> and she is able to do that you know, it would be easy to pick this film apart, saying, well, wow, it really is kind of, you know, kind of hokey that she meets a contractor that will help her. And, <laughs> wow, well, isn't it a little hokey that she's able to pull all this stuff together? But I was able to just put that stuff aside uh, because it's just delivered with such sincerity. And quite frankly, I think that I needed, and I think we all need, a movie about hope right now. We need a hope, a film that tells us that it is possible to change your circumstances. It is possible to depend on other people to help you. In the end, I really, really embrace that message. It was good to see this woman pull herself out of this situation because we need that. Was the contractor good looking and single? A small? <coughs> no. He was old, middle aged, and curmudgeon -y. Oh, did yeah. they get together in the end anyway? No. But it was interesting. He helps her because he knows her husband. Oh, okay. He knows all, all right. she's been through. So he's like, yeah, this had a Hallmark you. movie written all over it. That's why I was, was asking. Pam, was Pam a fan of these? She liked both of them, yes. Okay. Yes. Well, we are missing her, but um, we do have some winners to announce. <laughs> yes, there's a film that comes out tomorrow called uh, Fatal. Uh, we have some links that will be sent to you. Colby Higgs. Lynn Franklin, Roger Fuentes, Kathy Babs, Marjo Irwin. Look in your email. You'll get a link to see this film. And if you want to find out what Pam and I thought about it, go to our website. Real yeah. Talk with Chuck from Ham. We will have reviews of that. Because we haven't talked about that one.
That no, was we have new, right? Yeah, it's new. Okay. Right. Well, we stuff. always love when you come. Chuck and Movies gives you our best. And there's a look at the Real Talk with Chuck and Pam website, which we'll have a link on CILiving.tv.